I'll never forget that morning. That terrible morning when disaster struck. Hey, pal. Mom told me what happened. I'm really sorry. Oh, Pete. Death is a part of life. You know that. Oh, hey, 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 hey. You remember when you accidentally laminated Snipper, Mom's parrot? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just trying to cheer you up. I know. It's just, there was still so much stuff we wanted to do. And now, it's dead. I know what you're thinking. How can a penny die? Easy, when it's a lucky two-headed penny. Pete's penny was the ultimate good luck charm. Strong enough to rescue him from overcarbonated cherry splurt. Powerful enough to ward off evil mutants armed with Cold War weaponry. But that morning, Pete knew the spleen-sucking truth. It's dead, Pete. It's out of luck. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Can you settle a shin bed? Or have you picked the target yet? It's ending. Got your dog back. It's story of a kid and his penny. No ordinary kid, no ordinary penny. Unfortunately, luck had run out for both of them. It all started for Pete with a sudden outbreak of back hair and continued for 17 straight days of natural catastrophes and man-made disasters. Pardon me. May I have this punch? Until finally, Pete knew it was time for his once lucky penny to have a burial at sea. Don't drop it, Pete. Please don't drop it. Chuck it, Pete. Then we can hear the plunky sound when it hits the bottom. No! Pete, you can recharge it. Like a battery. I can? Do burps taste like hot dogs? Mine do. Pete, we're charging Lucky Penny is easy. All you gotta do is have a train run it over. Really? That is a bunch of crud. It is not. And I know the perfect place, the train tracks near Smedley Ravine. Smedley Ravine? That's 10 miles away. How are we supposed to get there? Leave that to me. Now, in case you didn't know, Smedley Ravine was in Glirt County, 10.2 miles away to be exact. But fortunately for Pete, the ravine was also near the Platesmith, the repair shop for people with metal plates in their head, like our mom. Pete knew there was no way mom would take him there to penny the tracks. So he didn't bother to ask her. Shh, you're upset. 
fighting spirits. Sorry. You know, in Crab Scouts, we have a word for this. Lamo. Monica, would you please? I know, I gotta believe, right? No, you gotta get off my lucky smock. Once her smock was set free, known as set free the good luck spirits. It was an ancient ritual, passed down from the old country, somewhere near Milwaukee. I made that part up. After the train flattens it, all we gotta do is look for the scrape when we come back tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow, good one. Um, Pete? The only train that runs on these tracks is the Midnight Special. We gotta come back tomorrow. Tomorrow? But I'm all out of luck. What'll I do till then? Just lay low. Have a seat, carrot head. Meet Pitstain, my brother's arch enemy. A glandular freak dedicated to destroying the kid who gave him his nickname. <laughs> This must be my lucky day, right, Scab Socket? Mint. Shove it in your armpit, pit stain. We all have our problems, Wrigley. Mine happens to be glandular. Yours happens to be my fist. Hi, I'm Stu Benedict, bus driver, and you're sweating all over me. It's his glands. It is not. It's just unseasonably warm today. I think the weather's perfect for you to take a hike. Yeah. I'm going, I'm going. But the day is young, Wrigley. So young. Oh, yeah? Once the midnight special flattens my penny, my luck will be back and you'll be sweating bullets. <laughs> We'll see about that. You saved my butt, Stu. It's all in the timing, Pete. That's why some men are men and some men are bus drivers. Yeah. Well, thanks. Look, pal, there's something you should know. Pennying a track is against the law. It's destroying government property. I'll risk it. It's worth it. Fair enough. So, I guess it won't bother you when the train derails. Mm -hmm. Flipping off the track, exploding into a fireball, ripping into twisted hunks of steel. Not to mention lost luggage. No! Yes. Gotta get that penny. <laughs> yeah, all right. I gotta get that penny. You don't actually believe in that luck stuff, do you? I do if Wrigley does. And he's been lucky till now. But if I get the penny, I'll have the luck. And Wrigley, it'll be crispy duck. Hey, I made a rhyme. Buster Rump, you guys. We got a train to catch. Onward, ho! You know, I heard that when a train derails, the G-Force takes the people and turns them inside out. Is that wicked or what? No, no. Nah. Maybe you should have told us that before Pete Penny's track. Nag, nag, nag. I can't believe it. At midnight, that train's gonna go flying, and it's all because of me. Don't worry, Pete. We'll get there on time. Besides, I'm like a good luck force field. I'm wearing my lucky hat, my lucky shoelaces, my lucky candy necklace, and... Lucky underwear. Pete, you don't need luck. You need this. The Viper. Be careful. It could strike at any moment. Right now, the Viper's built-in range action compass is telling us to walk magnetic north. We should reach the ravine at 10 o'clock. Plenty of time, right? Right. And I brought food, so we won't go hungry, right? Right. And we have all night, because we told our parents we were sleeping at Wayne's house, right? Right. right. 
I'd rather eat a chocolate-covered dust bunny than sleep at Wayne's house. Guys, wait up for me! Hey, guys, wait up! It's me, Wayne! Guys, come on, wait up! Say hello to Wayne Pardue, also known as Wayne the Pain. Talk about lousy luck. It's me, Wayne! Jeez Louise, am I glad I caught you? Hey, I heard you guys were sleeping over my house tonight. Man, this is gonna be a solid day. Solid as a rock. Like your head. <laughs> so, what do you want to do to the sleepover? Uh, you wouldn't be into it, you know, we're just gonna go and uh, look for Penny. Super genius, I'm in. Oh wait, wait till you see what I got. Cribstar 2000 flashlight. There's a picture of a frogman on the box using it in a thousand feet of water. But it's good just for seeing stuff in the dark, too. You guys didn't bring one, did you? Wait, 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 Deal? Deal. Oh, one more thing. Last one there's a blood blister. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> Laugh while you can, stink fist. Because by midnight, you'll be crying. See that crab scout turning green? See that crab scout turning green? Someone was in her camp. For the first few hours, none of the night crawlers seemed too worried. Sure, the penny was still miles away. And sure, hundreds of lives were in their hands. But for a while, none of that mattered. Monica kept the moving magnetic north. Nona kept the bad luck spirits at bay. And as for Wayne... I you didn't know. Except for Alaska, Alabama, Arizona, and Idaho. Ohio is the only state that begins and ends with a vowel. <laughs> really? Wow. Hey guys, I know a shortcut. Through the gully. It's that way. Hey, Princess Lucky Underpants. Let's go. Hold your horses. I'm tying a lucky knot. A twist and a tuck means good, good luck. So off they went, hoping to head off a train wreck. Little did they know that they were on their way to their own disaster. It's not just that Nona forgot about the food. As they made their way toward the ravine, there was somebody out there who hadn't forgot about them. Ladybug, Ladybug, fly away home. Remind me to do that to Wrigley when I catch him. Party, at the five, the 10, the 20. Bob, this kid can bring him to the Super Bowl. This kid could really make it. This kid could go all the way. Wayne, Bob, this kid is a super genius. Wayne, touchdown. <sighs> Time out. Sorry, I'm just hungry. When I get hungry, I get hyper. Dr. Kleinmarker says that's to do with my blood corpuscles. He said the corpuscles Wayne! No, no. Give Mr. Hyper something to eat. Okay. Uh, I can't? Don't even say it. Okay. You lost the food? What about my corpuscles? All right. Everybody, just calm down. We'll be okay. You guys probably wouldn't have liked what I brought anyway. <laughs> Rumpfish. You simply must try the lobster. It is divine. Mm -hmm. By dusk, it was official. My brother's lousy luck was back and making up for lost time. Bite me sideways. This can't be the right way. Sorry, Pete. It's hard to navigate when you're starving to death. I said I was sorry. 
And if it's such a big problem, Monica, why don't you go find us some food? Good idea. I see some right now. No, it's my lucky candy necklace. I am so sick and tired of hearing lucky this and lucky that. Why don't you take your lucky necklace, stuff it down your lucky mouth before I push you down this lucky hill and make you poop in your lucky underpants? <laughs> Hark! I hear the call of the hungry, luckless crybabies. Mint? go home now. Uh-uh. We made a pledge, Wayne. We're not stopping till we get my penny. I'll get you there, Pete. Promise. Let's go! It didn't take a two-headed Abe Lincoln to figure out that if Pete didn't get his penny before pit stain, his life was gonna derail. But unfortunately, Pete wasn't only out of luck, he was running out of daylight and almost out of time. Monica, which way? Um, north. That way. Sure? Yeah. Hey, Pete, I, I got this idea. You know, where I act as a decoy, and I split off and run all the way home? Wayne, I don't have time for this. You gotta keep going or else people are going to die. Uh-oh. Did you check the batteries before you left, Wayne? Pete, we can still make it to the ravine. No, we can't. We're lost. Lost? I'm blind without my compass. Can't you navigate by the stars or something? I haven't gotten that merit badge yet. I'm sorry I let you down. I can't believe this is happening. All those people. The yellow ones taste like summer. I'll hold on to it for luck. They gotta be this way. Hurry! You guys stay here. This is my problem. I'm the one he wants. Tough beans. I'm going with you. Yeah, we're in this thing together. Not me. I'm going home. Wait! Our new mess of the five, the ten, the twenty! Touchdown. My penny. Wrong. My penny. Over my dead body, you freak! My associates could arrange that. Hairnet. Drawstring. From now on, Wrigley, you're gonna feel what it's like to be unlucky. This isn't about luck anymore. If I don't get that penny, then that train is going to derail, flip off the track, and explode into a fireball! 
No! I knew I should have brought my camera. Invested in me by the Wellsville Bussing and Transit Authority. You're under bus arrest. How'd you know we were here? Just passing by. Right place, right time. For you, wrong place, wrong time. On the bus. Hey, Stu! How come the train didn't derail? Must be Pete's lucky day. Hey, that's Dane. Penny for your thoughts. Here's one for free. I know where you live! It turns out that Stu was right. Because at that moment, my brother never felt luckier. And not just because of a penny. Thanks for standing by me. You know, I don't think I need this anymore. What are you talking about? It's your lucky penny. And it's totally recharged. I know, but there are some things you need more than luck. They all knew what Pete meant. It was something they couldn't put into words. But then, they didn't have to. Let's go home. You guys still want to sleep over my house? Sure, Wayne. I like that. Yeah, me too. Super genius. And maybe tomorrow night, we can stay at one of your houses. Man, that would be solid. So who wants to go next? Oh, I know, we go alphabetically. Wait a minute! We I think we might need this. But if you don't want to go out for bed, we can go counterclockwise, clockwise, back to town.